probably, to be quite honest. <laughs> Now, can my computer run Blender? Well, mine can. Can yours? Well, if you've ever been on any Blender chat room, forum, Facebook, you've seen the dreaded daily question. Today, if you're new to Blender, I'd like to help guide you on your first steps to getting started with Blender. It'll be over a few videos or so to make it easy to find certain topics rather than just in one great big half hour video. But to answer the question, probably. To be quite honest, if you're just starting out, don't let your computer's specification stop you from starting. Now, I often use an 11 inch MacBook Air from 2014 for basic modeling and concept work. Now, seriously, download Blender and try it. It's 160 megabytes, it's not a very large file. And everyone's system is different. Even two computers with similar specs can perform very differently to one another. Now, you might not have the best experience or the fastest renders, but you're just starting. And let's be honest with ourselves here. If you're just starting, you're, the, the work you're going to be creating is going to be more like work like this rather than work like this. OK, uh, stop rendering at a bajillion samples and 16K resolution. It's just not necessary when you're a beginner. And render to the platform you're sharing your work on, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube, all of these platforms will, for some extent, ruin your stills and videos. They can press it down and make it look all blocky. Now, I know the real reason most people end up asking this question, and that is just simply they're scared to start. And you know what? That's fine. There are lots of brilliant tutorials out there, free, paid for, and hey, Consider checking out my other videos, either on YouTube here or over at Canopy Games. I'll pop a link in the description below. Oh, and, and finally on that front, as a minimum, save yourself a lot of pain and get yourself a three button scroll wheel mouse. I cannot emphasize how much having just the right thing in front of you can make a big difference. And that is including, and especially if you're using a laptop. Now, at this point in time, some of you will be like, oh, wait, I really cannot run Blender 2.8 and onwards. Well, there are some hacks and workarounds for that, but I'm not going to go through that at the moment because you're going to get a degraded experience and have other bugs. But I get you're starting out and you're on a much older machine, perhaps one that's been given to you by a family member who doesn't want it anymore, or maybe a, a relative. They've just passed one on to you and it's just older than Blender 2.8 and onwards actually works with. And you're going to have, well, a lot of bad, albeit well-meaning advice to upgrade your RAM or go buy this, that. And it's, it's like this is, it's coming from a good place, but ultimately I want you to dive in and get started. And you can actually go and get Blender past versions very, very easily. They're all open there. And Blender 2.79b, I think it is. I'll make sure there's a link in the description. Um, but using that, lots of amazing art was done prior to 2.8. You don't need Blender 2.8 to create amazing art. In fact, it's Blender 2.91 now, and it's moving very quickly. And there's that fear of missing out. And I don't want you to miss out starting on Blender because of some silly reason that your computer can't run the latest version. Hell, Blender 2.79b, I did so much with it, including real-time displacement and things like that. Absolutely amazing. And if you're just beginning your journey, there are hundreds of 2.79 tutor uh, tutorials out there and below anyway. So there's lots of stuff that you can use to start. Now, I'll detail where, Blender, where to get Blender from and how to get it to auto-update and more things like that in another video. And of course, why it's not always great, why it's not a great idea to actually get the latest and greatest. There are reasons why you wouldn't want to do that. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm going to wrap it up now. It's been a pleasure having you here. And if you have liked this content, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more informational videos like this and tutorials. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.